7.5 billion people in the world today. And within your lifespan, there will be 9 billion people. We are often told that we must grow more food to feed all these additional people. That sounds challenging, but actually, we are already producing twice the amount of food that is necessary to feed the current population. Truth is that we are wasting 30% of all fruit and vegetables because it has gone bad while traveling thousands of kilometers from their place of production to the local markets because people don't buy the odd looking products in the grocery stores and because we simply do not eat everything we buy. We don't have a food availability problem and we will not have one. We have a food distribution problem. My name is Stefan Gartner from Mi Huerto Web in Chile with a solution for a smarter, fairer and shorter agriculture supply chain which provides a more satisfying and a more tasty diet. To see how this works, let me introduce you to Juan. Juan is living in Valdivia, a city 10 hours to the south of Santiago de Chile. Juan is 28 years old, he has a stable job, and he would love to always buy organic food, but he simply cannot afford it. The agriculture supply chain makes it too expensive for him. So Juan, like most of his friends, buys his fruits and vegetables in the supermarket. One day, Juan decides to go to the supermarket and buy apples, his favorite fruit. The sign in the store says that are, the apples are from Chile, but it does not say whether they are grown close to Valdivia in the plantations. They were, in fact, grown locally, but they were transported 849 kilometers all the way from Valdivia to Santiago de Chile, only to be cleaned, selected, and packaged, and only to be transported all the way back, 849 kilometers to the local supermarket in Valdivia. Can you believe that? Does that make any sense? It actually makes sense for the packager but it makes no sense at all for people who care about carbon footprint, about food waste, and above all, about freshness of their food. Take the example of Valdivia. Around Valdivia, there are many small farmers. One of these farmers lives in Tunucapa. Her name is Margarita, and I would like to introduce her to you. Hola. Eh, soy Margarita y les invito a venir a mi huerto web a ver estas hortalizas que nosotros les tenemos para ofrecerles. Bienvenidos todos ustedes. Margarita has great apple trees. Margarita grows organically. She does not apply any agrochemistry. She sells her awesome apples at the side of the road. But very few people pass uh, past her house. So she doesn't sell much. She gives a lot of her awesome apples to her neighbors for free. She gives others to her pigs to feed them. And guess what? She throws away the rest. Meanwhile, Juan, who lives just 15 kilometers away, would love to buy and eat Margarita's awesome apples. And now he does, through New York Web. And he knows that the money he pays is paid directly to Margarita. And New York Web makes Juan feel like a hero. To make this system work, people like Juan don't buy kilogram by the, don't buy produce by the kilogram. They buy square meters. And farmers sell future harvests, enabling them to produce for precise demand drastically reducing food waste because they know what to grow and they know how much to grow of it. They also receive the working capital in advance and they will know in, in advance 
to which price they will sell their products. This enables them to plan ahead. It enables them to invest. And it gives them a clear path for a better life on their farm instead of having to seek a better life in an urban slum. Miwarto Web was designed by a dedicated and diverse team of agronomists, foresters, sociologists, and programmers. We attract a lot of talent who dreams of bringing Miwarto Web all across Latin America. And you, you can be a part of it. So the next time you are eating an apple, I want you to think. I want you to ask yourself where this apple came from, how it was grown, and above all, who might have been grown that apple. Thank you very much.